Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Mars in the 12th house in the sign of Virgo for Libra ascendant people as in what happens when Mars is in the 12th house for Libra ascendant and as you know Mars rules a 7th house with the sign of Aries, second house with the sign of Scorpio and if you want to know where your Mars is placed along with what you know nakshatra it's in all your astrological details check out the links here carisastrology.com where you'll find my books, reports, consultations under shop section, along with my Academy, Magavid Astrology Academy, where we're pretty much conducting the most easiest way of predicting through Nandi Nadi, which especially I'm not going into the biggest form of understanding Nandi Nadi through Bha Chakra. So Mars in the 12th house in Virgo. So Naturally, Mars is a significator of the self as well because the Dhyakarka is the body. Mars in a female chart will represent a husband or in a female male chart will represent younger brother. Mars naturally rules a spouse here for Libra ascendant and the second house of wealth, money, family. So one thing you will see Mars in the 12th house, one has to go to foreign lands. Younger brother will be settled in foreign lands. Husband will be met in foreign lands or in faraway places. Foreign land simply means any place that is far different from your own environment. So let's say, for example, somebody is born in New Delhi. They go to Varanasi. Completely different world. They go to Mumbai. Similar world, but far away. It's on one of the hands limb of India. Or somebody is in India goes to us goes to canada that's what this mars is and especially you will see with mars and virgo younger brother and, and husband whether it's again you could be a male and you could have a younger brother female husband okay they'll be very self-critical very self-critical very self self-conscious and very much into nitpicking all the investments they make, all of the money that they spend. See, Mars in the 12th house can spend money like free willy. They'll spend without thinking about it. They'll be like, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. Okay, I'll do it. But here Mars becomes actually very good at it because even though it's in an enemy sign of Virgo, now Mercury, which rules the sign of Virgo, is telling Mars, you can't just spend money with your eyes closed and using your soldier and fighter instincts to um, spend money. I'm going to make you conscious about it. I'm going to make you very critical about it. I'm going to make you very nitpicky about it. Meaning when they make any investments, because 12 thus is investments. When they make any investments, they will be very critical and very nitpicky. They'll picking all the errors into what's happening. Should I be doing this? Should I be not doing this? So this is a very smart Mars. Mars is forced to think. Mars is forced to become intellectually smart more than instinctively smart because of what is a soldier? Soldiers are all, all an instinct like this is it. This is the moment that I have to take this shot right in the war field and here mars with virgo will be like yeah i'm here trying to take the shot but the wind is too fast this is the end low the enemy line is too close so if my bullet doesn't hit they'll find out where the bullet is coming from they'll hit me maybe this is not a good time maybe i need to wait a half an hour more those are the things that big now drives Mars. And yes, one of the things you will see is that, of course, your money source comes through foreign lands, but also spouse becomes very charitable. Spouse loves to spend money. But also spouse themselves become very critical about where the money is being spent. They'll spend money when they're supposed to, but when they're spending money with you or when you're spending money, they become critical. Where is this going? You will always see with this particular Mars, whether who you're married to, husband, wife. When you're spending money, they'll become, okay, why are we spending money here? 
Do we need to get this? Why do we need to buy this? But when the spouse's family is in some distress, they'll blindly, no matter who it is, they'll be like, yes, here, I'll help you. Here's the money. Also with Mars in the 12th house, either uh, most of the time this person and one spouse, even younger brother, these are the three main effects here, will either leave their work post immaturely, like things are going well and they'll just leave it, or they may be forced to leave that particular workplace, maybe forced to retire early. They retire early on their own uh, merits. Whether it benefits or them or not, they immaturely leave things. Because again, 12th house is a house of leaving. Mars represents those surprise things, surprise events. Because again, it is ruling the sign of Scorpio. And it's ruling Aries. So one makes decision to surprisingly, surprisingly leave some post. Or they become surprised that they have to leave some post. Whether it's due to off politics, some kind of a scandal, something that'll be like, they'll be forced to leave. They're like, it's better for you to leave. It's better for you to retire. It's better for you to leave your post instead of us forcing you to leave. You know, many times you will hear, especially in government, some district attorney, some politician, some congressperson is being like forced to resign from their position. Some scandal happens, forced to resign from their position. This is that particular Mars that does that. Now, that doesn't mean that just because Mars is in the 12th house, you're going to be doing a job. No, if other planetary alignments are conducive, one might be doing business of, uh, you know, import-export, shipping things. But also Mars in the 12th house makes brilliant um, accountant. Somebody who, like Mars in the 12th house accountant, will be very good at helping you to save money. Because they are trying to critically look at your losses. And they're trying to critically look at the losses that you need to get. Meaning, let's say the taxes you have to pay. They're like, wait a second. Why are you paying this much taxes? Why aren't you using this loophole and that loophole and opening this account and opening this thing? So this way or opening a retirement plan. So then you can percentage of your amount goes in there you know, and then this way this can be written off and all of those things. This is the Mars that critically will look at this because Mars's job is to protect, right? So when it's in the 12th house, an individual like to protect losses. How do I, instead of this whole thing seeping through my fist, how is it that just a little bit goes out and I can retain most? So those things, become very important. Also, Mars in the 12th house, most definitely it'll cause issue with in-laws. It'll ca cause issues with in-laws and especially also shows in-laws themselves have to deal with some major issue in their life, you know, or major um, dispute in their life. And it's not because of this particular Mars, it's that they're destined to get that regardless. It's their karma. The family members around them indicate those things. Whether it's a child is born, whether a spouse comes, whether it's you, whether it's anybody else. It shows what are the events that can take place now. And it's not, it's not in your control. As much as you will know about this position, it's not in your control. You will have, you, you will have certain people come into your life with certain position. They will do it and you will accept them unconsciously without even realizing, oh, remember, I watched this video and this and this and this. No, it just happens. That's the beauty of it. You know, no matter what you're trying to do, planets are far bigger than you. you this is you like at a microscopic level. And then imagine the size of this house being a planet. This is how much of power they have accumulated. So, yeah, it's not easy, you know, to turn these things. But again, you have to look at subjectively. 
you have to see what planets are around Mars. Is any planet protecting Mars? Is Mars Bhad? Okay. Is Mars, uh, you know, becoming the sacrificial chicken or goat? All those things you have to see in the chart. That can only be seen the relationship of Mars with other planets. But the things that I'm saying is definitely happening. The way that happened and the degree that it happens in, it all depends on other planets. Not ever just one planet, single planet by themselves. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mars in the 12th house and the sign of Virgo for Libra. And then people, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed along with all the social details, check out the links here. Otherwise, tomorrow we will be doing uh, Moon Ketu. I believe it's in the 11th house. 12th house, not sure. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.